Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another video for the Mono Game Basics series. This is the last video for the basics, and then we'll go into the more advanced concepts in the new series. We are going to discuss how to draw text to the screen. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And let's go ahead and go to Browse, Basics here, Tutorial 3, Drawing Text. And I'm going to call this Drawing Text. Make sure it's a mono game Windows project, and then click OK. And this is going to be a very quick video. Uh, we're not going to add my sprite to the game. So if we double click the .mgcb project right away, it'll bring up the mono game pipeline. And if we right click the content area here, go to add new item, let's add a sprite font description, and let's call it uh, basic font. So, uh, oops, I don't want to open that. Alright, so there's that. Now we go to rebuild here. Yes. One succeeded, zero failed. Okay. Alright, so now we need to go back into the pipeline tool and actually manipulate this file. Now this is just a basic XML file, but it it does not recognize it because it's a dot sprite font. So if you right click this and go to open file, it'll do what I just showed you a couple of seconds ago. Uh, but we need to go to more options here and let's go to Visual Studio. And it will open it up in there. But it's going to open it up in a new window, which I guess is fine. Uh, let's reset. Oh, let's resize that a little bit. Okay. So this is just an XML file. So as you see here, we provide the font name, Arial, size 12, spacing. All that stuff is fine for our purposes. Uh, you can get more fonts. You can still download the XNA font redistributable if you want extra fonts that you could use. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to be basic font. Okay. So let's go into our game1.cs file. And in our private fields area, let's add a field for sprite font. Let's call it basic font. Now, just like our texture 2D, we need to go into our load content and our basic font field that we just created is equal to content dot load opening angle bracket and instead of texture 2d we're going to provide sprite font and remember we need to pass in the name of the asset which is just the name of it without the extension so just basic font So that loads the sprite font to our basic font field here. Alright, so let's just go ahead and draw some text here. So like I said before, whenever we draw something, we need to be in between a sprite batch dot begin and end call cycle. Now instead of drawing a sprite, we're going to draw a sprite sprite batch dot draw text or draw string. So here you'll see we pass in the sprite font object, which is our private field here, our basic font that we just loaded, our string builder text or our string text. So let's just provide a string hello world. So our string text, now we need a vector 2, new vector 2, uh, 100, comma 200, and just color dot white. So that is the draw string call. Uh, in our unload content, let's just say basic font is equal to null here. Okay, so that should be everything, and if we press F5... Hello world is displaying there, and it's in color.white. We can change the color. 
Let's change the background back to black. And let's change the color to red. So now the background is black and the text is red. See how much easier this stuff is than DirectX? <laughs> Mono game and C Sharp in general is just a lot easier to work with than DirectX. All this code just to display text versus a mess of code that I'll get into in the next few DirectX tutorials that we have to draw text with. Alright, so this is about five minutes and we've discussed how to draw text from basically the basic sample. So you'll go into the content pipeline, uh, right click content, go to add new item, make sure it's a bright font description and then name it and then be sure to reference the dot sprite font to some file you want to use if you have a dedicated XML editor that you like a lot more than Visual Studio you can use that uh, otherwise you know you can open it up in notepad or anything else I'm just going to leave it the version selector. And then once that's open, you'll see it's just a standard X or XML file. Uh, you can change it to anything you want. If you have your own custom fonts, be sure that the license agreement allows you to use it in such a manner. We need to use a sprite font object, so we need to use the load content method to use a content manager. And then we're just like the texture 2D, we call it dot load. It's a sprite font, and then we provide the asset name. Uh, we unload it by just setting it to null. It's not a member of iDisposable. We can look, go to definition, sprite font, no does not it's not a it does not reference i disposable so we do not have to dispose it so we just set it to null it doesn't have a dispose it doesn't have an unload you know we just we set it to null that's all we can really do uh update we don't have to update anything draw we draw it by using the draw string call here we provide just a basic string the location we want to draw it to and then the color and then we're good to go all right so that's it for the basic series i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got a good understanding on how to start you know uh my x and a basics covered pretty much the same concepts drawing sprites moving sprites and drawing text but it was separated into multiple parts and some of the videos resulted in about 45 minutes or so. I also discussed vectors in the XNA Basics series, which I'm not going to discuss in this one. I'm going to discuss it in the Math for Game Developers series. So I hope you enjoyed the series. Next series we'll discuss some more advanced concepts and we will go from there. So let me know if you get started on your own game project and want me to check it out or if you have any questions on it, let me know on my videos, on my YouTube channel, on my forums, just anywhere. If you need help with anything, stay tuned for more advanced topics and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.